If you have halogen headlights or fog lights on your car or truck, to upgrade them, you have three options. Either different halogen bulbs that might be a slightly different color or a little bit brighter, or an HID conversion kit or an LED headlight bulb. In this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between an HID and an LED, why you might wanna choose one or the other, and ultimately, which one's brighter. Back in the early 2000s, LED headlight bulbs didn't even exist, but then came the HID conversion kit. When these things came out, they were the craziest, best, brightest, most exciting lighting upgrade that you could get for your car or truck, because all you had to do is take out your old halogen light bulb install a new HID bulb, connect it to a ballast, and now you have three to five times more light output from your headlights. Now this modification isn't legal for street use, but that doesn't stop people from using it in all kinds of applications. The cool thing about HID is it comes in multiple power levels and multiple colors. You can go from 3000K, which is more of a golden yellow color, to 4000K, which is more of a halogen looking color to 5000K, which is more of a pure white color, to 6000K, which is white with a little more modern hue of blue in it, 8000K, which is a lot more blue, 10,000K, which is completely blue, or even 12,000K in some applications for a purple look. You can also get custom colors in pink and orange and green. They're not very bright, but you've got a ton of different color options with HID. But over the years, advancements in technology with LED bulbs started, and people desired all those different colors less and less, and the LED bulb is now king. HID conversion kits still have a place in the world because of their wide customizability and the small size of bulbs. There's some headlight and fog light applications where you can't make an LED bulb fit, and so that's where an HID might come in. If you're struggling to find an LED bulb for your headlight or fog light application, Chances are one exists still in HID, which used to be the primary light source for aftermarket headlight upgrades. Back in the day when LED headlight bulbs were first introduced, they weren't very bright, the technology wasn't very reliable, they would fail constantly, and HID was still the best option, even though people thought LED would automatically be brighter. And we've been following and testing the evolution of both product lines since their inception. So if you go back into our old videos, you're gonna see where HID was better, and then they were about the same. And today I'm gonna to tell you with the new generation of LED bulbs like the GTR Lighting Ultra 3, there's no question. LED headlight bulbs and fog light bulbs are way brighter than HID, even in their brightest power configurations. The GTR Lighting Ultra 3 is the best and brightest headlight upgrade product you're gonna find, and I'll prove it to you. So first let's start with the HID conversion kit. What is it, how does it work? and why is it considered an upgrade to your original halogen light bulb? Well, here it is. This is a really common light bulb that you're gonna find in low beam, in high beam, in fog lights. Uh, you're gonna find it in cars and trucks, ATVs and other off-road vehicles. It's a universal light bulb and there's about 12 different sizes that you're gonna find in any headlight or fog light application out there. The electricity goes in right here, it powers on and this filament inside glows. And that is what creates the light that shines out through your projector or reflector onto the road or trail ahead. It's not very bright. It has a dull yellow white color to it and they burn out pretty easily also. So somebody had the idea that why don't we take an HID bulb and attach it to the same base of a halogen bulb so that it can replace the fitment in the headlight or fog light. And instead of having a wire wound filament inside, there's this little ball of gas with two electrodes that create plasma. It ignites the metal salts and, and xenon gas inside that little tiny ball inside the tube and it creates a massive amount of light, about three to five times more light output than your standard halogen bulb. But the problem is, if I put these side by side, look at how small the filament is, and look at how big the glass ball is inside the HID bulb. That's a big problem because the photometry 
inside a headlight is extremely precise. When we change the light source from the size of the halogen bulb to the size of the HID capsule, it causes a lot of scatter. And that was always the big challenge with HIDs, is that it wasn't as precise as a halogen light bulb, but they're still super bright and they work pretty well. So let me show you what you need in order to make the HID bulb work. With a halogen bulb, it's 12 volts to these pins and you're off to the races. With an HID bulb, you can't just put your car's electrical power up to those two electrodes and fire this thing up. That's why there's this big wire harness. The first wire harness looks like this and it connects to your factory wiring where your old halogen bulb plugged in. So they're plug and play. That then passes through and feeds your ballast. So we have a ballast and a bulb. The ballast is what creates the electricity needed to turn on this bulb. So we plug in the bulb to the ballast, power, and then the output of the ballast connects to the HID bulb. Let's see what that looks like when we turn it on. So as the ballast is generating the electricity, the bulb gets brighter and brighter and brighter. It takes about 10 seconds to go from startup to complete brightness. You'll also notice as the bulb gets brighter, the color changes. When it's dim, more of its color shows through, and by the time it's at full brightness, a lot of that color has washed out. Remember how I said there's about a dozen different halogen light bulbs for headlights and fog lights? Well, some of those light bulbs are called dual beam. That means one light bulb that does both high and low. A lot of cars, like the headlight from this Toyota 4Runner, has a single bulb for low beam and a single bulb for high beam. But a lot of other vehicles have one light bulb per headlight and it does both high beam and low beam together. In a halogen bulb, you would have two filaments inside the glass. One is low beam, one is high beam. But with an HID conversion kit, we can't do that. This is a typical dual beam HID bulb. You can see it looks just like the single beam bulb inside there. It's a single glass tube with a single capsule inside with all the chemicals. But when it's turned on, it moves the bulb. That's why this base is so big. Down here, there's an electromagnet. And when we power it up, it will pull the bulb from its resting position to a tight position. And when it pulls the bulb down, it pulls the light source closer to the reflector and it changes the shape of your output. So this simulates what would happen when you flip your headlights to high beam with an HID kit using a dual beam bulb like H4, H13, 9004, or 9007. You see how it pulls the bulb down and then you go off of your high beams back to low beam and the bulb goes up. Now the crazy part about making this thing work is you still need to connect the bulb to the ballast, but then there's a relay harness to make the high beam, low beam function work. That's where this comes in. And this is one of the greatest reasons to choose an LED bulb over an HID. This whole harness only is required if you have a dual beam bulb. Not only do we need to pull the power from your headlight wiring to turn on both of the ballasts, but we also need to control that high beam switch. So this one controls the position of the light bulb and this one turns the light on and off. That's a lot of wiring to install just to get brighter headlights. So now let's talk LED, stands for light emitting diode. That's the big yellow thing that you see on all of these bulbs. There's not a lot of reasons anymore to go with an HID conversion kit when you have something like this available. And when LED bulbs were first coming out, they were huge. They wouldn't fit in a lot of applications. But today you have things like the Morimoto Two Stroke 4.0 which is quite small in size. You have the GTR Lighting Ultra 3, which is quite small. Even the previous generation of bulbs were still kind of large. This is the Ultra 2 from GTR Lighting, and you can kind of see how big it was compared to a halogen bulb. This was the brightest light bulb on the market for a long time. 
lifetime warranty, really great beam pattern, the brightest thing out there, but the competition has caught up. But today that changes with the Ultra 3. Look at the evolution between the bulbs. It's not as tall, it's not as wide. The Ultra 3 is now significantly brighter than its predecessor, smaller with less wiring. So the older bulbs, you can see, have this big long harness because the driver was external. This was always thought of to be a good thing because it would keep the heat down at the bulb. These bulbs do get hot because this little yellow LED is so bright, it generates a lot of heat. That's not necessary anymore with advancements in technology with the modern LED bulbs. So the way the LED bulbs install in the headlight is very similar to the HID in terms of how it connects to the housing itself. As you can see, they have the same uh, mounting collar. They both have a rubber O-ring. The wire harness that connects to the factory vehicle wiring is the same on the LED bulb and the halogen. So whether you're going with HID or LED, the first thing is you gotta figure out which bulb you need. H11, 9005, H4. Like I said, there's about 12 of those bulbs that you might find on your vehicle. And you just have to find the corresponding HID or LED bulb that fits. They're not universal, they are bulb specific, but you might find the same bulb in many different applications. You're gonna find a lot of LED bulbs on the market that aren't very good. Remember how I compared the HID bulb to the halogen when we're talking about the light source? A lot of LED bulbs have the same problem. You see how small the filament is inside the halogen light bulb. Now look at how big the LED chip is. That giant surface area is about 10 times as big as the filament. It's gonna cause a lot of scatter inside the headlight and you're gonna have a bunch of light where you don't need it. It's not gonna be very focused. And that just means it's not gonna be very bright. So you really have to focus on an LED that has a small chip. Look at the yellow portion of the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 compared to the halogen filament. They're almost the same size. They're in exactly the same place. And this is gonna give you a light output that's actually gonna perform how you want it to. But with LED, what about the dual beam bulbs? Remember this guy with an HID kit that moves up and down and it has that big relay harness. How do we accomplish the light output from a dual beam bulb with LED? Well, here's an example. This is the Morimoto Two Stroke 4.0. Uh, it's got a really cool feature, a little unrelated to how it creates light, but it has a fan inside that pulls air in and pushes hot air out. So if you live in a northern colder climate with LED bulbs and you're having problems with your headlights icing over in the storms, uh, this can help with that. But that's beside the point. The way these work is a lot more similar to the original halogen bulb. You can see there's two sets of LED chips, one on top, one on the bottom. The top one is your low beam, the bottom one is your high beam. There's no moving parts, there's no big relay harness, this is the whole thing. So a major benefit to going with LED is they're easier to install. So what's the drawback? Why wouldn't you wanna go with LED? Honestly, the biggest reason is colors. You don't have a lot of choices. When you're looking at LED bulbs, they come in really two colors, a white and a yellow. HID, you have a whole bunch of different colors that you can choose from. If you're not concerned about a, a very specific color or you want a more modern solution, the LED bulbs are all around better. Now, a lot of people still think that HID is brighter. It's not the case. Not all LED bulbs are created equal. We've got a whole bunch of them here from different brands and we've tested them all. A product like this that I've been pointing out is from EL Creador or you have something from Cougar Motor, or Hikari, or Oxbeam, they just aren't as bright as the new generation of products from, say, GTR Lighting. This is the king of the hill. Now let me show you exactly how these products stack up against each other. All right, so in this example, we're testing the Toyota 4Runner headlight, which comes with a halogen H11 bulb. It's a projector low beam. And here's the other thing, back in the day, you couldn't even put LED bulbs in projectors, but today, the tech is so good that you can. So let's first start with the original 
55 watt halogen light bulb that came in the Forerunner headlight from the beginning. It's not very bright, it's pretty yellow, it's not gonna reach quite as far down the road as you want. This is the kind of thing that when you're driving behind, you say to yourself, I just wish I could see more. Well, let's solve that problem. All right, first up is the 35 watt HID kit. We're doing 6,000K. You can already see it's a much more desirable color. It has more light output and you can see exactly how much brighter it is than the original halogen bulb. But that's not all. Check out what happens when we swap out the 35 watt ballast with a 55 watt ballast. Boom, it's way brighter, but check out the color difference between 35 and 55. When you go up in power, you actually lose some of that color. It looks more like a neutral white and some of that blue is now washed out. Let's install the brand new GTR Lighting Ultra 3 in an H11 LED bulb. These are 6000K color and here it is. This is exactly what you want. The bulbs have a lifetime warranty. They're really small. They're, they don't have a big wire harness that you have to hide. They are amazing and look at how bright it is. Unless you wanted a very specific color that you don't see here, LED bulb is the way to go. These things are gonna be so bright that no matter what driving conditions you're in, you're gonna be able to see farther down the road, wider into the ditches or on the trail. It's gonna look better than your halogen bulbs and they'll be brighter for safety. So your choice, HID conversion kit or LED bulb. They'll fit any application for a car or truck on or off road. And if you're not sure what to pick, give us a call or email. We have a dedicated staff of enthusiast experts that can walk you through the whole process. If you want to see exactly what fits your vehicle, go to headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make and model, and we'll show you exactly what fits to take out the guesswork to make sure you get the right thing the first time.